Next, let's talk about hyperlinks. So hyperlinks let you link to other web pages on another site or within your own site and so forth. And oftentimes you're going to link them to actual text. So we'll go inside our paragraph tag here. Let me pull this back up real quick because we're going to need to take a look at this, but we'll do courses slash HTML. Okay. So let's say we have, this is a paragraph and then we'll say this is a hyperlink. Now the hyperlink is denoted with the A tag. Now that may seem a little bit confusing, but this is technically called an anchor. And we'll, we'll talk about anchors sort of towards the end of this. Um, let me scoot this over just a little. But it's, it's technically called an anchor tag. So that's why it's an A. So with the anchor tag, the, the attribute that we pretty much have to specify, except in certain situations, is an href, which is hyperlink reference. So this is the URL that we want to link to. So here we'll just do www.google.com. Okay, so we've wrapped the word hyperlink in this anchor tag. We've specified the href, which is uh, google.com. And this, again, needs to be sort of the full URL here for this to work. And if we refresh this, you'll see now, again, this has the default styling. It's blue. It's underlined. If we click that, then uh, this may not go just because of the way this works. Let me open this in a new tab. Okay. And so it goes to Google here. Okay. So that's what a hyperlink does. It's really pretty straightforward. The attribute you need to go along with it is that href, and you can link to anywhere, basically any URL you want with a link tag. Now I talked about these as anchor tag. Another thing that you can do, let me, so let me go ahead and see if there's a way that I can easily show you this. So let me go like this and actually let's go get some lorem ipsum. So we'll do lorem ipsum just to give us a little bit of space on our page here. So we'll do five paragraphs and we'll generate generate that and then let's go ahead and copy this and then we will come back over here. I'm going to close this up for just a sec so we can see what's going on here and we'll get rid of all of this and we'll start dropping this in and I'm going to sort of put these all in anchor tags here. All right. And last one is up here. Okay. So we've got essentially five paragraphs. We've taken this lorem ipsum and we've wrapped it in, in these, these paragraph tags. And that will give us some space that we can then look at and on our page and show you how anchor tags can work. All right, so we cleaned up our code here, and now if we go back and we preview, and we'll go to courses slash HTML. So you can see now we have this image, and we've got sort of five well-defined uh, paragraph tags uh, here. And looks like we don't have enough to create a scroll bar yet, so let me just copy all of this real quick, and we'll put five more in there. So that should give us something that we can work with here. All right. So now we've got 10 of these. You can see now we can actually scroll here. So let's go ahead and let's do actually let's um, let's create a new anchor tag here and we're going to do href. But now we're going to do um, just, just call it last something like this. And we'll say link to last. And then down here in this paragraph tag, we're going to create an anchor and we're going to say a name equals last like this. And we're going to just leave it blank like that. And we can actually bring this back up here. All right. So if we refresh this, you can see we have this link to last. We click that. You'll notice I scrolled down here automatically when I click that. So I go like that. 
that is actually an anchor tag and what it does uh, with in, in this sense. So we've specified the name of the anchor here and we've put it as the last paragraph here and then we have linked to that using the href and pound last, okay? So that's another thing that you can do with anchor tags is actually create anchors within your pages. So you can create a sort of internal navigation uh, within your pages. Uh, this also, I'm, a, I'm actually not sure if it'll work on a paragraph tag or not. So we'll just try this. You can do this with, you don't necessarily need to have this anchor tag here. You can also do it with, if you specify an ID uh, of an element. So let me refresh this real quick see if this works on a paragraph tag yeah so I've specified an ID of last like this and I'm linking to that that pound sign and then last here so it'll link to that ID as well so you can add this ID attribute to any element and then you can link to that using your anchor tag as well so I know that's not the the sort of the normal stuff you think of when you think of hyperlinks and so forth but we're talking about the anchor tag and this is one of the things that you can do with the anchor tag as well